Hello, Farah. How are you? Hello, Omar. I'm good. How are you? All good. So today we'll be talking about venture debt. Uh, so let's start this off. Uh, if you could tell us what is venture debt and how is it different from venture capital? Sure. So uh, with SVB crashing over the past couple of weeks, venture debt has become a major discussion. So basically, venture debt is a type of loan offered by banks and non-bank lenders that enables fast-growing and investor-backed startups to access capital with a bit less dilution than, than, than what happens usually with venture capital. So this type of debt financing is typically usually used as a complementary method to equity financing. While what we know about venture capital usually it's a form of private equity and the type of financing that investors provide to start up companies and small businesses that are believed to have long term growth. So venture capital in general comes from investors, investment banks and other financial institutions. While venture capital does not always have to be money, venture that is usually typically financial. So in fact, it comes as a tech, uh, in fact, venture capital can sometimes come as managerial or technical uh, or a certain form of expertise. And venture capital is typically allocated to small companies with exceptional growth potential or to those that grow quickly and appear to be poised to expand further. Thank you for the explanation, Farah. Um, and in the past five years, we have seen a rise in interest in venture debt in the MENA region specifically. Why do you think that venture debt is becoming an attractive funding option for the people? We already saw in our venture debt report covering the MENA region between 2018 and 2022 that venture debt is typically growing in the region. So 2021 had a peaking the value for venture debt and 2022 had the highest number of venture debt uh, deals closed in the MENA region. Uh, so venture, the, the interest in venture debt is coming from the fact that debt is usually cheaper than equity. So the cost of equity fluctuates significantly in the business cycle. Thus, the primary benefit of venture debt is that it leverages, equi uh, leverages the equity raised by a startup and reduces the average cost of the capital uh, required to fund the operations. Uh, a second benefit is that venture debt is flexible. So it can be used as an insurance against operational glitches, uh, some shortcoming in funding, and some unfor unforeseen venture, uh, venture capital needs. In 2022, we saw uh, Venture Depth's first mega deal, which is the 100 million plus deal. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Yes, 2022 saw Venture Depth's first mega deal in the region, which was closed in August 2022 by Tabby, and it was for exactly $100 million. Uh, uh, Atalia Capital Management and Partners for Growth were investors in that deal. Speaking of venture debt investors, which country saw the biggest number of venture debt investors? So according to our latest market map of venture debt investors in MENA-based startups, yeah. UAE saw the biggest number of investors in venture debt in the MENA region between 2018 and 2022. So the biggest number of investors came basically from the uh, in, uh, for, for venture debt deals in the region came from UAE based investors. And according to your research, was venture debt spread across multiple industries or concentrated on one a specific industry? Uh, so, as I mentioned earlier, our report on venture debt covered the years between 2018 and 2022. Uh, and in the report, we can find out that venture debt covered different industries. So, while, while FinTech, as usual, as usual, covered the biggest share of deals at the highest funding, we also saw venture debt deals directed towards industries we commonly know and that are top ranking like transport and logistics and e-commerce. While at, at the same time, we saw venture that directed towards startups in the industries like enterprise software, energy, healthcare, media and entertainment, agriculture, and sustainability. And can you tell us which country had the biggest number of venture debt deals? Yes, again, the UAE had the biggest number of venture debt deals and it had the highest value of venture debt funding between 2018 and 2022, with 16 deals closed over that period. Uh, Egypt 
Egypt was in the second position with nine deals. Five deals of venture debt were closed in Jordan, and KSA had three venture debt deals over the past five years. Thank you, Farah, from the research team at Magnet. Do you have any words, parting words? Thank you, Omar. I hope this was beneficial. If you would like to know more about venture debt and access the data and any additional insights, you can please contact our team.